Hello everybody, welcome back to Brizzet Plays Assassin's Creed Rogue. Uh, I managed to get all the computers. I'm still missing two tablets, but at this point, meh. Uh, anyways, I accidentally walked past her and she told me that my life will never be the same once I view this final secret memory. Who knows? Let's find out! Sending a message. The Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis the Sixteenth, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence, Lady de Pompadour. Good luck, Numbskull. Ah, thanks, Dick. Ah, Shay, you certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself yeah. will grant you an audience. I doubt Fucking you better. These creatures will get me into the king's chambers. Besides. I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Oh? Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles from that damned box. Oh, Charles. That's him, Charles Dorian. Hmm. Am I supposed? Am I supposed to know who that is? I don't know if I'm supposed to know who that is or not. Ah, well. The door just magically closed behind me. Trying again. Dorian is another is one of the other assassins. I remember hearing that name. Oh fuck hang on. Of course it's not gonna let me now because I'm here. Um, what should we do now? Oh Oh Arno Dorian. Oh Oh, that just triggered a lot of crap in my head. Oh, God, that like... Okay. Ar Arno Dorian. Yeah, I'm remembering that now. Arno? Where have you gone? You're the truth. 
traitor. I'm just finishing old business. <sighs> old Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. <laughs> Perhaps we should start a revolution of our own. The French Revolution? Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shay Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. And another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. Damn! Oh, I can't skip this. Okay. Guess we're sitting here for a bit. If that's the case, I'm turning down the music. But yeah, I remember when I was looking up the characters. Uh, to see who we'd be playing as in the future. Because I was like, oh, fucking uh, Desmond is dead. So how, who the, how the, what the, how are we playing? Um, and instead I found the names of like the characters that we play as in the future games. And I remember seeing one said Arno Dorian. Oh. That's kind of cool. I like that that ties in. I don't think I would have, like, caught that if I didn't know that name. I actually need to look that up now. I'm very... Oh. What's happening? Oh. It's my pleasure and oh. privilege to welcome you up here. Hang on. Uh, 34. There we go. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story oh, he's is in the next game. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. Lies. And we represent. Yeah, he's in story. Unity, the next game. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. Yeah. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us. And for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Are you going to make me choose? Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Oh. Refuse. Oh. Alright, that's dark. Turn that back down again. Yeah, so Arno Dorian is the next game in Unity. Oh, I I cannot wait. I mean, I have to because I'm officially going to be out of time here in like 20 minutes, but... My word. God dang. How it all ties together. God. So weird. <gasps> I love how they tie it all together. Ah. 
Yeah, I am just very, very curious. I do feel, though, to, to be honest, um, there, there's not as much to tie into, I felt, in this game. Um, for instance, like, you know, there was the whole precursor stuff, there was uh, Desmond Miles, there was all of that stuff, and now I'm just some random guy, or girl, I don't actually know. They keep calling me Numskull, but I don't actually recall if they said if I was a he or she, nor do I care. Uh, but it's just like, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel as like, like for this one, uh, this one and Freedom Cry, obviously Freedom Cry, but they didn't feel all that jaw dropping as I had been in the all the previous games with the endings and stuff. Of just like, oh my god, that's so cool! Kind of thing. Like, ever since Desmond died, I feel like there's hasn't been, like, the big stuff. Like, um, Liberation was interesting, but at the same time, still wasn't as jaw-dropping. Um, and then, yeah, now Freedom Cry and Rogue... Um, so I feel like it's kind of dying down because I don't know if it's because they ran out of ideas or because they're building up something else. I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, I'm not as in like shock and awe other than the fact that I recognized Arno Dorian. Um, I recognize the name for that. That right there is mm, so good. Um, but still... Um, I'm very curious to see what the uh, future games entail. Um, and funny enough, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to edit the three episodes I just recorded and then put them on YouTube to schedule because I'm, I'm like really caught up. Like I think if I remember right, uh, this episode in particular airs on June 2nd, I think? I think so. Um, and it's March 23rd, by the way. <laughs> Oops. Um, I'm hoping to get the rest of the Assassin's Creed do games done, like, super quick. But not entirely quick, because uh, one month from this recording is when Assassin's Creed starts. Um, and I've kind of been waiting to keep uploading all of these um, and scheduling them so I can... Uh, mess with the tags and tag all the Assassin's Creed games or put all the Assassin's Creed games in the tags. Um, cause I figured that'd be, you know, <clears throat> ow, easier. Um, but if not, oh well, cause I highly doubt I'll be able to finish the next games. Um, I mean, I know Origins, Odyssey and Valhalla are pretty long. Uh, I don't think Unity or Syndicate are all that long, um, and, but, I mean, they're the normal length of some of the others. Uh, but then I got the Chronicles as well, which, I think if I remember right, it said that those were pretty short. I think. I think, I think. Uh, I can actually look that up. Length of AC... Chronicle. I can't spell Chronicles. There we go. Uh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Interesting. So, um, okay. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, the Chronicles games are pretty much Assassin's Creed's without any open world or side missions. Um, you just follow the st main story from one assassination to the next. Fairly short, six to eight hours for each one. Uh, gameplay is fun, good translation of the traditional Assassin's Creed mechanics. Um... The storyline continues through all three in different locales and time periods, so that's kind of interesting. 
Um, some people didn't like it. Um, it is a fun game with great gameplay and a very good art style. So that'll be fun. But, um, yeah, so that won't take long. And I've got all three, so that right there is... What did I say? Six to eight hours? So that would be 18 to 24 hours to do all three. That won't take long. That is the length of maybe one... Maybe the length of Brotherhood. I think that was like 24... Around 24 episodes, I think. Was it? Maybe. I don't remember. I know Assassin's Creed 3 was a lot of fucking episodes. Oof. Oh my god. I think that was 29. Um, but yeah, and then Unity and Syndicate, I think, are roughly, I think it said, like, 30 to 40 hours, roughly, I think. I might be thinking of different games, but pretty much once I get Unity, Syndicate, and the Chronicle series done, it's on to Origins and Odyssey and Valhalla, and those are the longest ones. By far. It said, like, 60 to 8. I think Valhalla it said 80 hours, um, which, oh, my god, there's going to be a lot of fucking episodes but worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, one thing I will say, I don't know how to edit it in yet, so I, but I'll, I'm going to be working on it soon. Um, I've started streaming to Twitch again. Um, I know I said I was going to do that with like Freedom Cry and everything else, but um, what I'm pretty much doing now is um, any game that I need to grind in on uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If I have stuff to, if I have stuff I need to do to grind, I will be doing it. Um, well, on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Uh, pretty much when I get home from work around two o'clock, if I don't have to give my girlfriend a ride home uh, from her work. And in which case, then it'll be at, start at 4 p.m. On Wednesday and Thursday, it will be shortly after 4 that I do that. Um, but I will only be streaming my my grinding, pretty much. Um, I already did it for this game. Uh, I think I got... I think I only did one, episode, one stream of that. It was like three and a half hours of me just going to all the locations. I managed to get the native armor and... Um, the James Gunn armor, I think it was. Um, but, but yes, uh, if you would like to tune in for those, um, I don't have my audio going because my roommate's home and I don't want to, you know, bother her or say things that might offend her or upset her, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I don't have my audio. I pretty much just sit there and grind um, while I have my, um, videos process in the editor, um, and it's, yeah, it's twitch.tv slash bird's eye view entertainment, same name as the channel. Um, I can't guarantee you I'll be streaming every day cause there, I didn't do it yesterday because there was pretty much nothing more for me to do other than go get chests, um, yeah, the chests, the finishing up the maps. I got all the maps, I just gotta go find the stuff, which... Eh. I don't really care for at this point. Uh, cause game's done. It's a weird way to spell Jessica Brukart. Very weird way to spell Jessica. Um, but yes, um, I can't guarantee I'll do it every day, um, but I definitely will do it, especially with these Assassin's Creed games. There is so much! For me to explore um, and I figure if I put it on Twitch people might be interested and they might come to my channel uh, for those that have come from Twitch and started and have subscribed what's up what's good um, but you guys can definitely expect a lot more content uh, especially now that I've got my oculus I just need to wait on my dad to give me his PC so I can or for him to sell me his PC, uh, and then I can actually start recording content. Um, I mostly... There are a few games I have. I'm getting the Vader Immortal games on the Oculus, and then 
What have I got on Steam? Hang on, let me check my wish list. Store. Wash list. Let's see. There is Blade and Sorcery, which I think that'd be kind of fun. Layers of Fear. Um, Phasmophobia. Uh, no, that's Stick Fight. That's not VR. Uh, Thief Simulator. And there, then there are actually some funny games. Not really funny games, but they're ones I grew up with when I was a kid. And I kind of want to revisit them for the nostalgia. And that's uh, <laughs> Pajama Sam and Putt-Putt games. I know, those are kid games, but at the same time, nostalgia. And I think it'd be kind of hilarious to do those. Um, and then my one of my uh, old roommates... Uh, wants me to do Echo VR with him, and I told him I'll do that if he joins me with the, in VR chat to uh, meet some new people, maybe make some content with them. And uh, he's also going to give me a, li a list of some games that he thinks might be that I might enjoy, which hoping I do because more content. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, God, this is a very, very long credit scene. They keep getting longer and longer, don't they? I'm gonna take off that headset because it is hurting me. It'll take a while for me to get adjusted to it, but that's fine. I don't care. Yeah, this was a fun game. I like all the tie-ins to Achilles and um, Hatham Kenway. And then mentions of Connor and stuff. That was kind of cool. You know, if I remember right, I think I played a little bit of Unity when it first came out. I think... My local town has a Game Pods. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it was like a little area you could go and like pay for an hour and play whatever game you want on whatever console if the spot was open. Um, and I tried Assassin's Creed Unity. I kind of liked it, but my problem is I don't remember anything from it. Like, at all. Like, I think there was something to do with the jail cell. I might be remembering the wrong game. Anyways, it might have been Syndicate. It's either Unity or Syndicate. But there was something about, like, being thrown in prison, but I was, like, not a king, but I was, like, I was royalty or something, I think. And I got thrown in prison at some point, like, early on in the game. And I met a dude in prison, and then... I think that that is all I really remember. I think maybe there was a scene where I like tried to pip, pickpocket someone at the beginning. Like I was a little kid playing around or something. Like I... Yeah, I think that's all I really remember. I don't know if that's Unity or Syndicate, but I'll figure that out tomorrow when I start Unity. Because if it's not that, then it was definitely Syndicate. Oh crap, I gotta install all the DLC too. I realized that there was some DLC for Unity and Syndicate that I did not have, so I was like, I'll buy it. Like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Need more content. Give me more. Gimme more, give me more. Did he walk out the door? Vladislav. Tar Tarasenko. Ooh, that was a cool name.
This is gonna last forever. I mean, it looks like we're getting to the end since it's now mentioning the linguistics and localization. <sighs> Owie! I'm really tired, man. God, now that just keeps popping up. My girlfriend got me into a new anime. Um, it's on Netflix, High Rise Invasion. And uh, I started watching it last night. And then a page I follow, uh, Easy Cosplay Costumes on Facebook. Also, apparently started getting into it and is now posting uh, the costumes that you can order from the show. And it's just like, uh, get out of my head. Seriously, will this ever end? I got shit to do, man. I've got Oculus Quest stuff to figure out. Which I thought was really weird because when I was setting it up and setting up like the little barrier for me to never cross. Um, it was weird because I could see my apartment digitized in the um, headset so that I could properly set the... Uh, the barrier. <laughs> it was really cool. And it came with a, uh, a glasses separator thing. Um, that you could, like, you could plug it in and, uh, or plug it into the headset itself. And it would give extra distance from the, uh, the eye holes. Uh, for those of us who wear glasses. I thought that was really cool. That was very cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, uh, tired. Yay! Any secrets? Templar then and Templar now. All right, cool. <clears throat> well, thank you guys for uh, joining on me, joining on me on this, joining me on this. <sighs> um. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on Bird's Eye, for you guys, I will be doing Assassin's Creed Unity. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.